All right. Welcome, everybody. Uh, hope you guys have had a great Monday. Hope you had a great Tuesday. Um, we got a lot of people here ready to make some games. Uh, so before we start, I want to plug the rest of the shows we have this week coming up. Tomorrow, we have uh, Making Music uh, with Mr. Anderson. I hope you caught it last week. It was awesome. Um, Mr. Anderson walked you guys through uh, uh, how to make a... Um, Oh, what was it called? A diddly bow. And so, um, let me get the music down here for a bit. Here we go. And so it was really cool. Um, hopefully you were able to make it. Uh, and then he also asked you to send in videos or pictures of you guys playing it or making your diddly bow. And then um, on Thursday, we have Simple Art at Home with Mrs. Houston. Um, she's been doing lately some that are specific for the different grade levels, which is cool. So like if you're a fifth and sixth grader, there's lessons just for you guys. And if you're a first or second grader, there's lessons for you there as well. And then on Friday, we have um, Vote the Game. And so Vote the Game is, uh, we'll be coming up on our third day of doing that. And so Vote the Game is where you vote for what games you want us to play. Uh, we're not making games, we're not drawing, we're not making music, we're just playing games. We figure Friday is a nice day for that. Uh, as you can see, I gotta figure out how to point. Why am I not pointing the right way? There we go. As you can see, um, it's kind of a landslide already. Uh, Minecraft with 87% of the votes. Animal Crossing and Mario 3D All-Stars with five. I was hoping you guys would choose 3D All-Stars. Comes out Friday. I'm super excited to play it. Um, and then Pokemon Sword and Shield with 3%. Now, don't let those numbers discourage you. Let's talk a little bit about voting. It's the whole point of Friday. It's not just to have fun, but also for you guys to know how important it is to um, exercise your rights as citizens and vote. When you're kids, you're under 18, you can't vote in, uh, you know, state or federal elections, but you can vote for games. That's easy to do. All you have to do is go to youtube.com slash Anaheim Elementary. That's where you are right now. And you click on community. Now, if you're logged in with one of your student accounts, you won't be able to click on it. It's locked down. Uh, but check with your parents. And if your parents give you permission, you can either under their account or if you if they've created an account for you, you can vote. Now, it's really important. It's kind of, I want to say, nice that it's a bit of a landslide because it gives me an opportunity to talk to you guys a bit about how voting works. And um, early on, it might look like, oh, the person I really wanted to take this position is not going to win. So I just think I won't vote. And you might be thinking that right now, like, man, I really wanted Animal Crossing or I really wanted Pokemon. And it's clear it's not going to win, so I'm not going to vote. Well, if you have that attitude, yeah, probably nothing's going to happen. But if you have that attitude and I have that attitude and the other people in the stream right now and everybody else out there has that attitude, then it definitely won't happen. But if a lot of you want Animal Crossing and a lot of you vote for Animal Crossing, it's real early. There's still two days left to vote. That Minecraft percentage will go down and it will keep going down. And so it's just an opportunity to understand how voting works in America. You always, always need to use your right to have a voice, um, no matter if the person or game in this instance uh, wins or not. But you know you put it out there and you had a chance. I'll tell you, Animal Crossing, we keep putting back on there because even though it doesn't win, we get enough people voting for it, we put it back on. And during our, our Fridays, we get enough kids asking for on our streams that we put it on there. So um, keep voting. Vote, vote, vote. Can't vote for presidents or, or, or senators or anything right now. You guys aren't old enough. But you can vote for games, and it feels pretty cool when something you voted for wins. So anyway, that's it. That's all my plug for that. Today what we're going to do, though, is we are going to make a game. Um, and to... Uh, yeah, chat's asking how to vote. Again, just go to go to the YouTube channel. That's the one you're on right now. YouTube.com slash Anaheim Elementary. You click on the community button, and in there, there's the poll to vote. And like I said, if you're under a, a student account, you won't have access to it. It's blocked for you. Um, federal law. Uh, but if you get your parents' permission, um, you may use their account to vote um, as well for that. So um, today what we're going to do is we're going to make a game. That's what we're doing today. We're not playing games. We're making games, although we'll kind of play it. And so, um, okay, we're not going to play today. <laughs> you guys are asking us to play. We're not going to play. We're going to be making games. All right, today's how we're going to make a game, and it's in Scratch. If you haven't seen Scratch before, free program. You can make all kinds of games. 
there's only about two weeks left of the baseball season, and I'm already kind of pre-bummed about it um, because I love baseball. It's my favorite, favorite sport. And um, it was back for a very short time, only 60 games. Usually it's 162 games. Um, and so we're gonna, we'll go into like playoffs and stuff soon, but I'm kind of bummed because it's been a, a fun for me every night to go home and watch um, the Dodgers. That was my favorite team. So I thought in the spirit of baseball kind of coming to an end here in a couple weeks, let's make a baseball game. What's cool about this one is you can pretty much change it to any sport you want. If you love football, make it a football game. Like basketball, make it a basketball game. Like soccer, you can make it a soccer game. Um, I just happen to like baseball. And today, because there's going to be a lot of coding involved, I'm not going to hand draw stuff like I normally do. So normally I hand draw a lot of the stuff. Today we're not going to do that. We're going to do mostly the coding. So let's get started. We're going to work with backdrops. We haven't worked with backdrops before, but basically backdrops underneath your stage here is kind of the, it's what it sounds like. It's the background. Pretty much every game we've made has had a white background. Um, mostly we do that because we want to spend time actually building the, the sprites and the coding and all that. But today we're going to use a backdrop. And like I said, we're not going to draw, but you know you always have that option. Oh, here's where I always have to move myself. I'm going to move myself over here for a second. Down here, you know you have the option to um, choose a backdrop that they've pre-made for you. You can draw your own. If you want to be, you know, just roll the dice, you can just have it be a surprise. They'll put something random in. Or if you drew a backdrop in another program or upload it for somewhere else, um, you can put it into the program as well. But today we're going to choose one that they've done. And it's kind of cool. They've got a lot of options here, like a Jurassic Park. Whoops, I didn't realize I was going to make that. All right, let's get rid of that. I don't want that. Um, okay, so we're looking for baseball. Yeah, I like the angels. I don't mind them. I work in Anaheim. You gotta like the Angels somewhat. Uh, not my favorite team, but I like them. Love the Dodgers though. Um, okay, so there's a couple options here for baseball. So basically what I wanna do is I wanna make a game where I play as the outfielder, the computer is the batter, and it hits a ball, and randomly a ball's gonna fly, glide over, and I have to go over and catch it. I feel like this scene here, this is more like if I was doing a pitching or hitting game. This is probably more like what I want. So let's add that to it. I like what that looks like. Okay. And now I need to add in a hitter. And like I said, I'm going to use theirs. Um, if you don't like hats. We'll use this sprite here and I'm going to shrink them down. That's about right. And I always get this wrong, but it looks like she is a left-handed hitter. Um, here's what's cool about using the pre-made sprites is they already do all the costumes and animations. You just have to code it in, but they've already drawn it all and I love it. So we're going to use that. Um, and then I need to put in my fielder. So you can see like if you just want to play around and try something and explore, um, you don't have to spend time drawing like I have in the past. Drawing in quotes. Um, not entirely thrilled with my drawing skills. Okay, he's technically the, oh, let me move my camera down so I'm out of the way, there we go. He's technically the same size as she is, but I want to give a bit of perspective look to it. So I'm going to make, and I want to make the game a little harder. So I'm going to make him actually smaller. Whoa, way too small. Let's try 35. That's better. So he's kind of like an outfielder here. Okay. Um, 35 is still too small. We'll make him 40. How do you make games? That's, what we're, that's exactly what we're doing right now. Scratch.mit.edu. Go there, create a free account. If you're a student in our district, just use your district email address. Um, and today, past games, we made like a Star Wars game last week. The week before that, we made a Fall Guys type game. Um, today, we're um, making a baseball game, but we're not drawing anything. Past games, we drew everything by hand. Um, today, we're just going to um, use the pre-drawn stuff. Oh, you're a lefty? My son and my brother are lefties. Yeah, so it's always interesting. I always forget that until they have to do something where you have to be left or right-handed. Okay, um, let's code our outfielder first. See, he also has animations. I like his because he's like blowing. It's like he's blowing bubble gum, not paying attention, 
distracted. Oh, there's a butterfly. And then, crack! Here's the baseball. Decides he's going to catch it. Probably didn't get there just in time. So I love, love this animation. I think the Scratch team, um, pardon the pun, hit it out of the park here with this one. I absolutely love this animation. So we will be certainly coding that in so that we use all of the um, costumes for that. Okay. Last week we did um, cloning. So if you're um, not aware of what cloning is, go back and watch last week's video. Um, but I'll kind of talk you through it as we go through. So everything starts with when the green flag is clicked. When the green flag is clicked, blah, blah, blah. And so what I'm going to have it do is um, cloning. Uh, no, I don't want to. See, I'm already making a mistake. I don't want to clone this guy. I want to clone the baseball. So I forgot a sprite. Let's add in the baseball. Very forgetful today. And the baseball should be small, like 20%. Yep. Crack. So that's basically what we're going to do is we're going to code it. We'll have the baseball start here and have it go and go over here and have it go over here. That's the sound a baseball makes apparently. Crack over here. And then our outfielder guy is going to have to go up and down and try to catch the um, ball. So there we go. Now, the baseball is what we want to. Um, no, cracked bat. Crack your bat, not your back. The baseball is what we want to make a um, clone of. So when the green flag is clicked, clones usually disappear. You make a clone, you do something with it, it goes away. So when we start the game, we need to make sure that we show this again. Um, because otherwise, if it went away at the end of, like if you're playing the game and you win and you make the baseball disappear because you caught it, and then I sit down to play, if I don't tell the computer to show it again, it's going to be hidden from your last game. And then um, we want this to go forever. For now, I just want to play this game forever. I might set it into like where you get 30 hits, you get 10 chances, or it goes for 30 seconds or something like that. I don't know, but for now, we're just going to say forever. Um, and I want the ball to start in a specific spot each time. I think about right here is good. I think I'll have the ball start there. So I'm going to tell it go to and i don't even need to type in the numbers it goes oh wherever that ball is right now that's the number we're going to give watch it says like 119 21 right now i'm going to put the ball over here let's say i want to start it there doesn't make sense but let's say i did look the go to already puts the numbers in for me it's really cool i don't have to do it myself it does it for me but we want it right um why am i being so precise just right there that's fine go to boom every time it's going to go to there then I want it to, um, I don't, last week, no, yeah, last week we had it just drop. This time I want it to like glide, like it's a baseball gliding. Um, so I'm going to have it glide. So I'm going to say, okay, go to that spot and then I want you to glide. And I want it to glide um, not to a specific spot. I want it to go to a random spot because if you always know where the ball is going to go, then there's no game to play. So I'm going to choose random. So it says it's going to glide for one second and it's going to go to 116.21. I don't know where that, oh, that's right there. But um, let's say it's right here. I'll know to just camp my little outfielder fielder right here and just catch the ball every time. That doesn't make sense. So I'm going to choose random. And I'm going to have it go to a random spot on X and a random spot on Y. And we're going to run out of room here. And now I have to figure out where do I want the ball to kind of stay caged in. I don't want it to be randomly everywhere. I want it to be kind of random. So I want it to be basically around this area and here. So I'm going to kind of just divide straight down the middle. I'm going to say I just want it to be everywhere on this side of the screen. I don't want it to be over here because that doesn't make sense. I want it to be kind of like on this side. So I'm going to say for x, x is my left and right. It can go from zero to, and then let's say negative um, 210. <laughs> negative 210 is about over here. 210 is kind of like the edge of the game, I think. And then for Y, I want it to go pretty much here to here. Any for, well, no, I should be able to catch foul balls. You can catch foul balls in baseball. So if, you know what I'm going to do for Y? I'm going to say negative 210, the very bottom of my screen. And I'm going to say 210, the very top of my screen. So you're going to have to cover the whole thing. You won, uh, you won the math contest? That's awesome. Congratulations. 
That's cool. I saw a lot of those masks. Um, those masks were awesome. Uh, some of them were very funny. Some of them were just well drawn. Um, and some of them had really good messages. You guys did an awesome job on those masks. That's awesome that you won. All right. So if I click this, oh, I need to make it a clone because it's only going to do it once. Well, let's see if it does it once just fine. Oh, look at that. See, now she's just hitting the ball over and over and over again. And there it is, hitting the baseball. It's gliding for a second. <laughs> that one hit the screen and just rolled. Keeping an eye on it to see if it's going as far as I want. I don't feel like it's going very far on that side. So let's do negative 300. I don't even know if that makes sense, but let's try that. Yeah, there we go. Now it's going more towards the edge. Now, the reason I need to make a clone of this and I can't just have it be like that is um, I'm gonna set it up to where if I catch the ball, give me a point, disappear, hit it again. If I catch that sprite, then the game's over at one time. So you wanna make a clone, so you basically get another chance at it. So then I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna say make a clone of myself. Ba -ba -ba, create a clone of myself. And then it's gonna do it again. So it's gonna go back to there, glide in there. But as you saw, that's going way too fast. In fact, I think I'm gonna end up with multiple ones here. Yeah, look, there we go. <laughs> now it's like batting practice. It's just baseballs all over the field. Um, so that's, Way too quick. So I'm gonna have it wait one minute in between each hit to give me a chance. Cause my guy here, he, he's just standing here. He or she, they're just standing here, not knowing what to do. And these balls are just flying. Uh, yes, the Apple event did not have an iPhone. They announced, uh, they spent like 45 minutes on the Apple Watch. Um, and then the iPad Air looks really cool. Uh, really cool, but no iPhone. I was so excited. I need, I need a, a, my phone is all dented and scratched. I don't need one. It works, but it's all scratched. Every time I go to swipe, I can feel it scratched underneath my fingers. Um, so hopefully, rumor is maybe in three weeks, I'll have another event and they'll announce an iPhone. But if you saw the iPad Air, I don't have an iPad. Um, I don't think I'll get one. But if I was to get one, that iPad Air looks really cool. Um, all right, so it's going to wait a second. It's going to create a clone. So now I need to tell it to do when it's a clone, because if it's if I don't, you just saw it here. It just stops, and I could just basically run over here, pick this one up, pick up this one, pick up this one, pick up this one, and that would just be boring. So we're not going to do that. So I'm going to tell it what to do as a clone. I'm going to get this out of the way. I'm done with this one for now. Let's move this up. That should pretty much be done. I think I might have to go back to it when I do a score score board word very hard to say um yeah i think the ipad air if you go look at pictures of it it's very flat looking it's not rounded off like um let me take off my really bad case here my dog got my case and so it's got like teeth marks in it um so if you look at like the iphone this is the 10, I think. If you look at the 10, it's like rounded and it's all glossy and stuff. Go look at the iPad Air. It's very flat and almost like metal looking. Um, and I think that that's, that's kind of a preview of what the new iPhone will look like. And people have released pictures of it where it looks like that too. So um, yeah, my dog got my case big time. I don't know if you can see that. Like she punctured, almost punctured all the way through a tooth through the case. Um, so my iPhone has seen better days. Uh, so hopefully in a few weeks they'll um i got an ipad mini i love the ipad mini uh of all the different weird ipads they've released over the years ipad ipad pro ipad air ipad pro whatever um love the mini what a great what a great device um okay where were we oh yeah clones okay so then forever um when I start as a clone forever, then, um, oh, we need to do the if touching blah, blah, blah. So we need to say, okay, if the ball is touching the outfielder, then we need to do something. So if touching um, outfielder, then 
Then we're gonna have a change of score. Do I have a score? Nope. So I'm gonna put in my variable. <laughs> this is my scoreboard. Just put in it. I can't say that word today. Scoreboard. Um, there it is. It's gonna keep score. And change my variable by one. Um. Then I'm gonna have it wait a second so that it doesn't like because if I'm touching it like every tenth of a second it's going to give me a point um, and that's that's not what I want so I want to wait and then we'll delete that clone delete this clone um, and we'll say wait let's do wait point two seconds let's try that um, so now Hey. It's not working. Why is that not working? When click forever if, oh, I didn't put in um, when I start as a clone. When I start as a clone, then, okay, now let's try that. Done. Done. Hmm, that's not changing my score. Why is that? Oh, because I set it to variable instead of score. I'm making a lot of mistakes today. I don't know if you guys have that where you know what to do. You just make mistakes. Now if I touch it, I should. There we go. No. Nope. Still not working. Forever. If touching outfielder, then change score by one. Wait two seconds. Delete the clone. Hmm. Create a clone of myself when I start as a clone forever. If t -t 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 touching, why isn't it working? All right, let's go back to that. I'm gonna work on my outfielder here. I, I'll be honest with you, I have no idea what's going on. Um, I want my outfielder to move and I want him to move with my mouse two weeks ago we did the fall guys game and you use your mouse to make the fall guy platform or trampoline or whatever move left and right but not all around now i want this outfielder to just be able to go wherever because this poor outfielder is going to have to cover the entire field they're the only one out there there's nobody else playing the game yeah the transitions were cool you know what i really liked was um to go back to the ipad air um the commercial for iPad Air with the springs bouncing back and forth between the iPads. I thought that was really clever. The colors were cool. Uh, the animation was smooth. The music was fun. I thought they did a really good job with that. Um, very clever. I liked it. How ping, how ping pong, but like sprung back and forth between a different iPad and all that. That was really cool. If you could look up that video on YouTube, go check it out. Really clever. If you, oh, there's now it changed my score. If you're into video production at all or anything like that, that's definitely something you want to um, take a look at. Um, okay, so now I want it to go to, oh, I always have problems with this. I want it to follow my mouse, basically. Um, I think it's go to X and then there's like a m mouse position. Is it in sensing? Yes, mouse X, mouse Y. Is that right? Oh yeah, there we go. But it's not giving me a score for touching it. Hmm. When I start a clone forever, if touching outfielder, then change my score by one. Wait 0.2 seconds, delete this clone. Maybe I need to wait longer. Maybe it's deleting it before it gives me a score. No, nope. I'm clearly touching these baseballs. Maybe th 
this is what I need. See, like it gives me a score once, and then after, man, this is a nightmare. This is way too many. All right. When the green flag is click show forever, go to. The, no, I don't want it to go to that. That may be part of the problem. Show, go there, then create the clone. Now let's see what that is. not working. This is the boring part. This is where I turn up the music so I can think and you guys aren't bored. I'm glad you think this is amazing. I'm frustrated right now. Uh, this is my frustrated smile. Um, you guys have frustrated smiles where on the inside you want to scream and yell. But on the outside, you're like, it's fine. It's okay. We'll figure this out. We always do. And we will. We'll figure this out. I will not let this program defeat me. Uh, I, I feel like that with technology a lot. I will not let this technology defeat me. Um, I, I, I will figure this out. So, for some reason, it's not giving me my score. If touching outfielder, then change. Let's do this. Sometimes I find, and I'm sure there's a reason for it, that I have too much code. And I don't know if that's the right way to say it. And somebody who knows better than me probably could say, that's, that's ridiculous, that doesn't make sense. But let's try that. When I start as a clone, glide forever if I'm touching, change, blah, blah, blah. When I start as a clone, wait one second and delete this clone. Let's see if that works. Nope. It's like it just doesn't care. Well, sometimes it does. Why? Like it changed it to five there. Whoa, that is hard to get to. Hmm. You're confused? I'm way confused. It's not, everything is working fine. It just doesn't want to give me my, it doesn't want to give me my points. Give me my points, I earned them. I want my points. Uh, let's figure this out. <gasps> I know. Let's take this away. And let's not make it about if the ball is touching the outfielder. Let's make it about if the outfielder touching the ball. Let's make sure this all still works. Okay, that's good. That's fine. I'm going to go over here. Let's get rid of this. And I'm going to say if my outfielder is touching the ball, give me my points. Let's see if that works. It should work the other way. I don't know why it's not. But I could sit here and complain and, and whine all day. Um, and even though somebody said this is an amazing stream, may I be sarcastic? Um, I'm not going to make you sit here and watch me complain and say, why aren't you working? Give me my points. So let's do the opposite. When green flag is clicked, forever be looking to see if my outfielder is touching the baseball. Then if the outfielder is touching the baseball, change my score by one. Let's see if that works. Look at that. It's not working exactly as I want. It's giving me way too many points, but it's at least giving me points. Whoa, I'm catching a lot. One fly ball is worth 95 points. All right. Success. We did it. For some reason, the baseball does not like being the one to give the points, so it's going to be the outfielder now giving the points. Couldn't tell you why. Um, oh, if it's boring, you are more than welcome to find another stream. More than welcome to. This is for uh, anybody who wants to know how to make a game. Part of making games is being frustrated. Part of making games is staring at a screen for a while, trying to figure out what's going on. Look up any of your favorite games and look up any, you know, um, videos, dev diaries or, or blog, uh, logs or anything from devs. 
they'll tell you that there are times where they spend hours just staring at a screen trying to figure out why one thing's not working right. That's just what coding is. And so sometimes it's boring. Um, like I said, that's why I put the music on. So at least if I'm quiet and frustrated, you can at least enjoy some cool music. All right. Uh, the, the problem we had was that it was giving me too many points. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to say, um, give me a point and then wait a second. And then I also need to say when the green flag is clicked, um, set my score back to um, zero. Now I should be able to get this one. Got it. That one. Got it. That one. Got it. That one. Got it. That one. Got it. Look at that. Easy. Super easy. Uh, like the majority of the coding is done. Um, can you make a game in Super Mario Maker 2 next time? You know, we will. Hang on for about another 15 minutes and I'm going to tell you something special we're going to do next week. So uh, at about... 345 or so I'm gonna give you guys a heads up about next week next week is different but yes definitely we did some Mario Maker last year if you want to go look up those videos on our channel you can find them but yeah we could definitely do some Mario Maker um, I love Mario Maker um, you love cats I love Mario cat cat Mario is my all-time favorite Mario of all the Mario's and he's in Mario Maker too so um, yeah. Uh, can you make Minecraft? Not in Scratch. Maybe somebody's figured it out. I'm sure somebody has done some version of that. But um, if you stick around for Friday, it sounds like so far we're going to be playing Minecraft. Um, you can vote to change that if you'd like. Um, but yeah, well, as of now, it looks like we might be doing some Minecraft on Friday. Okay, let's add in some animation. So let's make let's make our batter move. So when the green flag is clicked, forever. I love this forever. It's my favorite. We're gonna say um, next costume, and we're going to say. Da, 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 da. I think we want to do next costume. I want it to be smooth, like when she swings, resets swings resets so I think actually I'm not gonna do next costume I'm gonna have her do uh, she's gonna start a is the end clearly a is the end right no a is the start A's the start, then she's right handed. That's cool. We'll make her left handed. Flip horizontal. Right? Does it work that way? No, it doesn't work that way. Flip horizontal. She is right handed, I think, if we look at it. Yeah. Bummer, I thought they did something cool for you lefties out there. Like I said, my son and my brother are lefties. It would have been nice for them to have representation in a game, but I guess not. Okay, so A, so we're gonna say forever set to costume, switch to costume batter A. Have it wait for point one second. Switch to costume batter B. Wait point one seconds. Her head's flown in midair. Yeah, it is. It's. A, I think it's just an artistic choice. Um, go look at your favorite cartoon game or cartoon games, cartoon TV shows and stuff, and I think you'll notice that all of them are, are drawn just a little bit different than what we normally see in real life or in nature. Um, and then batter C, wait point one seconds. This is how you code in animation. You just switch costumes and um, you use the wait field to determine how long before they switch to the next thing. Then go to batter D, 
That's 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, that's 0.3. So then I'm gonna have this batter weight then 0.7, so that equals one second, which is how often the ball's being hit. And it should, cross our fingers, look like she's hitting the ball. A little too far behind, so let's do 0 0.2. 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, or she's a little too far ahead, I should say, um, 26.4. Okay, let's try that now and see how that works. So close. Let's change this one to 0.3 and see what we get. I like it. Looks good. Looks real, doesn't it? Real-ish. Last week somebody kept saying, something wrong, something wrong. Tell me what's wrong so I can fix it. Yeah, point one seconds is fast. Um, you think about how fast a second is, and point one is ten times as fast as that. Did I like the Apple Watch ad? Oh yeah, is that the one where they kept saying like, sometime in the future, your watch will be able to notify you to breathe, and then the swimmer goes, it already does, um, and then the the announcer gets angry like, don't interrupt me, I'm trying to do a commercial. Yeah, that's a I like that one. That one was good. All right, this looks real. You know, oh, there's my fielder trying to catch the ball. Um, you know what I don't like is I don't like that that ball just hangs out there. Can we, can you hide it and still make a clone? Nope, now she's just swinging at nothing. How can I hide that ball? I don't like that you see it there. Oh, I know. I could put a sprite over it. Okay. Okay, we can do this. Um, so let's come over here. I'm going to create a new sprite. This probably doesn't matter, but it's bugging me. So um, I'm going to draw a square. I want to cover this ball so it just doesn't isn't just floating there. She hits it, and then like you see this ball, and then another one goes that way, and you still see the ball, and another one goes that way. I want to cover it up. We got time. Um, so let's draw just a random square that's far too big I just need to be just big enough to cover up that ball perfect um, no outline and then the fill I hope this works is going to be uh, bummer mm. aha I'm gonna use this extension I have that lets me pick a color so I can pick a color from anywhere on the web. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, you can. So this is a cool extension called Color Picker. You just hover over anything and it'll tell you what color it is. Um, so that's the color we need. Come up here. It tells me that the code is this. So I'm gonna just copy that code. And then when it says fill, I should, no, I can't type in my own, no. Why can't I type in my own code? All right, well, let's look at this. RGB, does any of this help? Oh, you don't see that in the drop down, do you? Um, yeah, that Apple Watch commercial was funny. It's not often I laugh out loud at a commercial. Uh, um, commercials I laugh at, Tomgus, the AM PM commercial. I love that one. Um, if, if you see that one, that's great. If you've seen Tomgus, you know how hilarious that guy is. Uh, the progressive commercials where they talk about turning into your parents, I love that one. Um, and that Apple Watch, that Apple Watch commercial really had me laughing actually. Um, Man, I don't think it's gonna let me put in just my own colors based on a number. It's gonna make me choose but I don't I just don't know what color that is so now I'm gonna have to try and do my best to guess what it is that's not gonna work that that is not good news at all for me is it kind of that it's kind of like a gross olive green maybe it's probably more 
yellow than that. Did I do it? Is it that color? Oh, look at that. That is so close. I might be a little too bright, right? Or too dark. Saturation, saturation. Oh, I'm not choosing that, so it's not working. It's <sighs> a bummer. All right, what can we do? There's got to be a way around this. I wonder if. Oh, I know. Um. I wonder if I can select. I mean, let's do this. Let's ungroup all these pieces on this field, and I'm going to grab just that. There we go. Undo that. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy that. Um, let's get out of there. I don't want to edit that. Delete that sprite. I'm going to make a new one, and I'm going to paste in the baseball field. And that's way too much, right? So I'm going to just shrink it down to like right there. Shrink it down a little bit to like right there. So basically, I just copied a piece of the baseball field from the background, and now I'm just putting it where it needs to be, and then like that. <sighs> Did that do it? Look at that. Nah, it kind of looks like she's hitting it out of thin air. So... Let's put the ball more like right. Ooh, that's gonna throw everything off. We'll put it like right there. And we'll put that like that. How does that look? Down a little bit. That doesn't look too bad. Oh, the songs remind you of the 3D printer guessing game? Yeah, it's the same songs. <laughs> so, um,. YouTube um, puts puts um, songs out there that you're legally allowed to use without having to pay money for it. And so that's what we did is we put those out there. I want her, I want this batter to go in front of the sprite. So a way to send a sprite back. Oh, there we go. Um, go to back layer. Well, no, that's not what I want. I don't want to go all the way back. I just want to go backward. Now I really messed it up. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. I'm just going to keep it there. I don't, know, I don't want to mess with it anymore. Can you make a map in Minecraft using command blocks? You know, I haven't done much with command blocks in Minecraft. Typically what I do, um, I usually play on survival maps, but then once we've kind of discovered all the different biomes, I write down their coordinates, and then I go into admin console, turn it off, and then I make command blocks where you can walk up, hit it, and then it takes you to the tundra hit it takes you to the jungle um, that way like if you're collecting specific wood and stuff like that or if you want vines you're able to get there pretty quickly um, so I use command blocks for that I haven't really used command blocks for like making things um, it is a lot like coding um, so that's really cool I think if we do Minecraft next week or this week if it ends up winning we'll probably do some mini games because I know a lot of kids love playing in um, Roblox with us um, Roblox is having a gift card contest, and I haven't seen that. I did read an article, though, about schools using Roblox in in class. Um, we're not doing that. Um, but I thought it was kind of cool after we played Roblox last week as a group, and then we saw that some schools are using it. Okay, cool. I like all this. This is working out nice. Oh, my outfielder. I want to code uh, my outfielder to have some costumes as well. Um, for the outfielder, I'm just going to have it be... Uh, when the green flag is clicked forever and this one I'm not gonna make it specific I'm just gonna say switch switch to the next costume and then have it wait um, 0.1 seconds 
Let's see how that looks. Oh, I like that. Those baseballs move fast. I'm gonna have those delete a little bit quicker. I'm gonna have them delete after 0.5 seconds. You gotta get there quick. This is hard. <laughs> but you basically just have to touch it. I'm gonna have them delete a little bit quicker than 0.5 because they just sit there on the ground. 0.2, gotta get to it quick. And I'm gonna have it glide quicker too. I'm gonna have it glide over half a second. Is that you play Incredibles on the Switch? Yeah, is that the is that the Lego Incredibles game, or is that is there a, a, a just a regular Incredibles game on the Switch? I love all those Lego games, all those Lego games. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, there we go. This is perfect. Look at that. If you don't get to that, you're it's gone. Cool. All right. Um, I think it's time to talk about ne about next week. So this is the game. I'll show you one thing I was going to do. Um, we'll talk about next week in just a second. I was going to show you one more thing I was going to add. Um, I always like to have things in the way. So like what's an enemy of any baseball game? It's the beach ball. Um, oops, sorry about that. Um, I know people love the beach ball and all that. So I, what I was going to have is I was going to have the beach ball. Um, let's see how quickly we can do this. Basically bounce around the field and you have to avoid them. So bounce forever. Glide for one second to, and then I was gonna have it choose like a random point. Pick random, um, negative 210 to 210. And then on the Y, do the same thing. The up and down, where it goes up and down on the screen, have it be the same thing. And then it just forever, and then you'd have to avoid it. And so like if you touch the beach ball, forever uh, when the green flag is clicked forever and if anybody knows anything about programming better than I do they'll probably be like ah, there's a much quicker way to do that ah, I like chunking it up forever if touching outfielder then change my score by negative one and then wait a minute hey I might have actually had enough time to do this and then wait a second so now as an outfielder I need to get the ball but I also don't want to touch the beach ball beach ball gets in the way of the game and so if I touch the beach ball you can see it changes my score right no I think we're having the same problem we had before I probably need to do one on the outfielder um, duplicate this block when touching beach ball change score by negative one now when I touch the beach ball it should and so let's get some points. One point, two points, three. No? All right. For the beach ball, like eight that baseball. There we go. I got three. Now if I touch the beach ball. Oh, no. Now I'm back down to two. Oh, I'm back to one. Oh. Oh, I'm back to zero. Will it take me to negative? Negative points. Can't get negative points in baseball, which you can in this game. So you can see how it's kind of cool. And then I'd probably put a timer in there. You got 30 seconds. See how many you can hit. Or the batter will hit 30 baseballs, and you got to catch how many, as many as you can in, you know, 30 hits. So um, that's it. That's the game. Uh, so next week, I promise you, we talk about next week. Uh, we will save this game, um, Baseball Fever. I'll add it to the YouTube comments um, or the YouTube description when this posts later tonight. And so you can access it. Please always grab these games and remix them, change them, move them around. Um, as you can see, you can make a soccer one easily like this. You can make like a goalie one, have a soccer field, and they have backdrops that are soccer fields. Um, so you could have like a soccer field. It was in here somewhere. Where's the soccer backdrop? Did they get rid of it? No. Why would they get rid of that one? Here's playing field. I guess you could use that. Ah, I think if you want to do soccer, you're going to have to draw your own net. But you could draw a goalie net and have you be the goalie go up and down and try to block all those. So lots of cool stuff you can do. It doesn't have to just be baseball. I just made it baseball because it's the best sport in all the world. 
All right, next week. Uh, next week, I will, we want to showcase your games that you've made in Scratch. So if you've made any games in Scratch, we want to see them. So all you have to do is send them to stream at aesd.org. Just send us a link. Give us your name, um, and you can give us either your grade level or your school. We will not be announcing both. But if you say, oh, I'm Corey, and I'm in fifth grade, we'll announce that. I'm Corey, and I go to Mann Elementary, we'll announce that. Um, send it to stream at aesd.org. Um, I'd really like to highlight a lot of your games. If you even took one that we've made already in these three weeks and you remixed it, we'll do that as well. Um, I'd really just like to highlight any of the games you've made in Scratch. As you you may know, we used to do a competition, Play, Play, Code, Compete. And I promise you this will come back at some point when we can. But the whole, the whole thing we did on that in the morning was we had you guys come in and make some ridiculously amazing games. Like, blown away. Better than anything we've made in the past few weeks. So I want to show them to everybody. So next week, I'm going to take a break from making games. And we're going to turn Let's Make Some Games into um, Let's Play Some Games. And I want to play your games. So send them to stream at AESD.org. I will send you a reminder and I'm going to email your teachers and ask them to send you a reminder because I really want to spend like a full hour, full 60 minutes just playing your games. Um, and if you have anything you want to drop in, like any comments about how you came up with the idea, uh, what was difficult about making the game, um, what's something that I showed you how to do that you, you looked at and said, ah, Mr. Robertson, there's a better way to do that. Right, I'm fine with that. That would be great. So send me your games. Um, we play Mario Maker this week, not on Friday, it's not on the list, and not next week for Let's Make Some Games. Um, can't get the pointing down right. Uh, I'm going to play your games. Um, but the week after that, I think we'll, we'll close out. We only have a couple more of these. We only have like three more. Um, we'll close out with some Mario Maker 2. Um, so send me your games. Send us your games. Stream at AESD.org, and I promise you we'll play them next week. All right, everybody. Have a great Tuesday. Have a great Wednesday. Don't forget to go vote. Oh, I did it right. Go vote for the games you want to play. You want us to play on Friday. Um, whichever wins, we will play. Minecraft's in the lead, but it doesn't have to be for long. If you want us to play something else, go vote. Go to our YouTube channel. Click on Community. Ask your parents' permission. Um, but again, I want to close out with this. Send us your games stream at ASD.org. Send it to me, and we will play it next week. I promise. Have a great week, everybody. See you next time.